breaking, Trump just dropped life-shattering news on John Kerry, enjoy prison, traitor. Fox News contributor Sarah Carter is now reporting that the former Secretary of State John Kerry is under investigations over his possible role in the Steele dossier fiasco. Although it was previously thought that John Kerry wasn't involved in the dossier Ms. Carter has no confirmed that the House Select Committee on Intelligence is, in fact, investigating Kerry's possible role in the fake dossier which was paid by the Democrat Party and the Hillary Clinton campaign. And interestingly enough this investigation has led to a longtime colleague of Kerry's Jonathan Weiner, who served as the former envoy for Libya during his tenure at the department to write an opinion piece in the Washington Post on February 8 where he defends his relationship with Steele and his role in the infamous dossier. The House Select Committee on Intelligence is now investigating former Secretary of State John F. Kerry's possible role into the unverified dossier paid for by the Democratic National Committee and Hillary Clinton campaign, this reporter has learned. The dossier, assembled by a former British spy, laid the foundation for the FBI's investigation into alleged collusion between President Trump and Russia and was the essential piece of evidence used by the FBI to get a warrant to spy on a former volunteer for the Trump campaign. For more than a month, the committee has been in its second phase of investigations focused on former Obama State Department officials and their role in either transmitting information or using information provided by former British spy and investigator Christopher Steele. Steele was hired by embattled research firm Fusion GPS, also under several congressional and Senate investigations. Jonathan Weiner, a longtime colleague of Kerry and who served as the former envoy for Libya during his tenure at the department, wrote an opinion piece in the Washington Post on February 8, defending his relationship with Steele and his role in the infamous dossier. All this comes to light after Congressman Devin Nunes from California revealed to Fox News host Laura Ingraham that John Kerry was in fact briefed about a second dossier. The Washington Examiner's own buyer in York had previously reported that the Obama State Department was being investigated to learn if they had a hand in the dossier and made very clear that Steele was considered a high-value source when it came to all things Russia to the point that the Obama administration used his intel on multiple reports to clients in the department. A book published in November by a correspondent at The Guardian, Collusion, Secret Meetings, Dirty Money, and How Russia Helped Donald Trump Win, noted that Steele's 2010 work on the World Cup soccer corruption investigation won him the trust not only of the FBI, but the State Department as well. From author Luke Harding The, Soccer episode burnished Steele's reputation inside the U.S. intelligence community and the FBI. Here was a pro, a well-connected Brit, who understood Russian espionage and its subterranean tricks. Steele was regarded as credible. Between 2014 and 2016, Steele authored more than a hundred reports on Russia and Ukraine. These were written for a private client but shared widely within the State Department and sent up to Secretary of State John Kerry and to Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Newland, who was in charge of the U.S. response to the Ukraine crisis. Many of Steele's secret sources were the same sources who would supply information on Trump. One former State Department envoy during the Obama administration said he read dozens of Steele's reports on Russia. The envoy said that on Russia. Steele was as good as the CIA or anyone. Steele's professional reputation inside U.S. agencies would prove important the next time he discovered alarming material, and lit the fuse again. That fuse, of course, was the Trump dossier. It is hard for an outsider to discern clearly what is going on inside the dossier investigations on Capitol Hill. But it appears some investigators are looking beyond the 35 pages of reports done by Steele for Fusion GPS, the opposition research firm working for the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee, that were published in January 2017 by BuzzFeed. They're looking into whether Steele did other reports about Trump, perhaps similar but not identical to what was in the dossier published by BuzzFeed. And they are looking into whether those reports made their way to the State Department. They're also seeking to learn what individual State Department officials did in relation to Steele, and whether there were any contacts between the State Department and the FBI or Justice Department concerning the anti-Trump material. 
it's not clear whether State Department activity related to Steele's Russia project took place in the months leading up to the 2016 election, during the transition, or both. I don't think we have ever seen more corruption than we saw during the Barack Hussein Obama administration. This should teach us all a lesson that we should not elect a man based on his ability to read a speech or the color of his skin. And now, all we can do is sit back and wait while the investigations get to the bottom of who did what and hope we someday see the perpetrators behind bars. bars.